Hi, this is a Technology Ridecast. I'm Mark Farley, and our special guest today is Raj Dingra. How are you doing, Raj? Hi, good morning, Mark. I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, it's great to have you back in the car again. Viewers probably remember that he's the CEO of Cloud Velox. So we've been working since then on some new capabilities around really accelerating not just the workload mobility, which is bringing the workload to the cloud, but also optimizing those workloads. Yeah, I think that's a big question that a lot of people have. I think they have some idea of how they might actually move workloads into the cloud, but how to make them run well is a completely different story. Now, the cloud is a new thing for most enterprise IT. They've taken uh, their applications and rehosted them in the cloud, but then they find out unexpected cloud costs because they didn't realize that the choices they make around either compute or storage were not necessarily optimal. I think a lot of people have experienced that. They have, right? Because you, they think, okay, this is pretty simple, but mm -hmm. then you realize that maybe you picked the wrong and more expensive choice. So I think optimization is something that's next in people's minds as they are starting to move their existing applications uh, to the cloud. And I think that's what's our focus for this new release. So the name of the product is One Hybrid Cloud, right? That's correct. It's One Hybrid Cloud, and we just announced our 4.0 release. So cloud migration is an example of one use case. We find that very popular now. Another use case is cloud recovery. So do you have customers that are uh, practicing and rehearsing DR scenarios with your product? Absolutely. And I think that's been uh, you know, one of the key advantages of uh, cloud-based recovery compared to traditional DR. The IT team can say, okay, let's go do a, what's called a DR drill, a disaster recovery drill, but do it in an automated fashion. And it can be accomplished in minutes or hours. And what that means for IT is they are always able to test and they can very predictably determine how long will it take for them to recover. And using cloud-based recovery, you know, IT can actually reduce that time recovery time objective from potentially days to maybe minutes or hours. And the fact that most DR drills uh, are highly invasive and they interrupt normal uh, IT operations and exactly. processing. Exactly. You're, you're dedicating resources, it's intrusive uh, to their process. And, and by the way, you know, because of all of these factors, people did not do DR drills. Maybe they did it once a year for compliance purposes. But now we found customers are actually doing our DR drills on an automated basis every month. In effect, it becomes all about risk management and control. I have a process, I can audit it, and I can actually report it from a compliance perspective as well. So I think in the past, when people have thought about taking their applications to the cloud, you know, there's been a term that's used called lift and shift. And, and, and usually it connotes, you know, it's kind of hard work. <laughs> you know, you're manually, lift, manually lifting stuff and taking it there. But what we've been doing is automating that process, whereby we really reduce the amount of effort, manual effort it takes, automate most of, you know, what it takes to bring it to the cloud. So in our most recent release, uh, we've actually added newer capabilities whereby before you take the workload to the cloud, you can actually do a variety of things around pre-migration optimization. So in the past, we allowed people to you know, sort of automatically match their compute and their storage and their network uh, to these appropriate services in the cloud. At this time, we've added a few other capabilities like instance tagging, whereby you can actually say these instances you know, can be tagged to be a, it's a database or it's for this line of business or this kind of performance. Uh, we've also added capabilities like placement groups so you can actually take your select high performance, low latency, high network IO workloads and automate running them in a particular part of the cloud. We've added other uh, capabilities like applying or assigning IAM roles. And with that capability, we can automate how those IAM roles can be assigned to instances, really reducing the security risk. Uh, so you don't need to necessarily you know, enter credentials or put them inside manual scripts. So these are sort of three examples of how we're making it easier to optimize what you're gonna run in the cloud thereby really reduce the risk, but also potentially improve your savings, potentially improve your performance, and then potentially really take advantage of the cloud. It sounds terrific. You guys have been making a lot of progress. Yes, very it's, exciting business to be it is. It is very exciting. Yeah, we, we're continuing to add innovation. We're finding customers, one of our recent customers is Brooks Brothers, and, and they're excited to take advantage of some of these capabilities so they can really bring their applications and workloads to AWS. Raj, it's been great having you on, as always. Thanks for coming. It's, it's been a pleasure, Mark. Thank you for having me.